Hey guys, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Welcome to another review. This one is for Gleam Freaks. For those not in the know, really new firm based out of Wales, uh, putting out an interesting new line of products. I'll put the link to their shop in the description below. So if you like what you see, go check them out. Uh, the car that we're cleaning today is my sister's Fiesta, so desperate need of some love. I've never cleaned it, so you know, it could do with a, a little bit of care. Uh, needed to bring up to speed. So just initial montage here, you see just the steps I'm going through pre-wash, uh, cleaning out all the bits of moss and grime and whatnot with a, a quality or purpose cleaner, um, and then dried up and uh, ready from there. A uh, few different products are used in the prep here. So uh, my ever favorite Woe Woe Wash Mitt, uh, use that in TDG's shampoo. I'm going to put some reviews together for TDG because I think they put out a really nice line of products. So uh, look out for them. Um, Alkaloy is from Autoglans, featured in my wheel cleaning how-to in the past. So you guys know I like that anyway. Relatively strong mix here because it was needed. Um, used Built Amber's uh, all-purpose cleaner. Um, and I used TDG's pre-wash as well. So uh, they got a double a double feature in this one. Once the car was up to speed, dried it down with this towel. Again, reviews coming on that. That's from Into Detailing. Um, it's their own brand towel. This thing is mustard. So I'm going to put the link to that as well below. And there is an upcoming review. Check that out. On to Gleam Freaks. What can I tell you? They sent me three products to try. I started with their Pure Flexion. Um, the terminology confused me a little bit on this one. Um, you know, you have a preset sort of idea of what different things mean. Um, this one is listed as a polish wax. So I said my unboxing, you know, I expect it to be a bit of an all in one. Um, it was a non abrasive, although I did get a little bit of paint transfer onto the pad. So I spoke with Gleam Freaks and said, Look, is this normal? And they said, No, uh, the, the uh, product itself, non abrasive. The one thing you can see in the close-ups, this panel has had some respray work and poorly done at that. So chalk it up to that. I didn't have any issues anywhere else on the car, just on that one particular spot. So uh, that's something that uh, will give them a buy on this one. Um, but you guys can see the difference. This is granted unloved paint, but you can see the darkening effect it had on that. And for me, for the three products that I was trying today, this one was really the standout. The difference it made in the paint... Uh, you know, it brought a luster back to it. So the paint was really flat. And I've, I've done my utmost to try and get that uh, on camera. Um, but believe me, in person, this paint works really, really flat. But I did that that half a panel. And I thought, yes, yeah, made a big difference. I'm going to film that. Um, I imagine once I buff it, I'm going to buff a lot of that away. But, you know, sure enough, that that stayed around. It did leave a, a real a real difference. Um, that That impressed me as a product goes. Um, I did put some heavy sunlight across it. So as the day the sort of uh, sunlight came down, the day faded, it didn't really do anything to fill or hide things like swirls or anything like that. So um, certainly not an all-in-one in that type of, of case. And like I say, Gleam Freaks aren't, aren't pitching this as an all-in-one. Um, that was kind of my uh, presumption with the terminology. But a, a really nice product to use, dead easy to use. And, and the change, the luster it brought back in the paint was immediate. I topped that then with their poly seal, and that's a, a polymer sealant of theirs. Um, and I think that really just finished it off nicely. It gave the paint a, a nice slick feel. Um, it didn't make as big a difference as uh, putting the uh, pure flexion on it, but honestly, I mean, the difference that added to the paint anyway, you were going to struggle really to gauge anything that went on top of that. And then just for, you know, pure overkill went over the top with the Pronto wax. The Pronto Wax, I'm going to revisit in a, a future video. Um, and the reason for that, when I applied it here, I didn't see that it added anything to the finish. And again, you know, it's kind of always going to be a bit of a tough job with, with how the, the Pure Flexion started out to tri really offer anything on top of that. Um, when I tested the beading, this one actually didn't bead that well. Um, I tested beading on uh, the Pure Flexion panel and on uh, one that had been Pure Flexion and then topped with the Poly Seal. And they both beaded, as you'll see soon. But I did the bonnet uh, and that quarter in the uh, the Pronto wax. And I don't know whether it's down to me, user error, or you know, just over applying, or maybe not leaving enough time between putting these different products. So I want to revisit that and give it a fair a fair go at uh, you know impress me in terms of the finish, the beading, and so on. So for now, you know, hold fire on that one a little bit. Um, the main two pieces, like I say, really did stand out for me. 
with sealants, not the strongest beading. You can see that with this, but it sheets right there with the rest of them in terms of sealant. So water behavior on it was good. Durability for me as yet untested. And as you guys know, as I, I tend to say, it's a difficult one for me to comment on because I typically don't push these things to exhaustion. What I'll do, I'll try and keep an eye on my sister's car just as I see her and, uh, and just try and gauge how it's holding up and, uh, and how it's faring. But all in all, it's for a new company, one that's worth looking into. They've got some great offers on at the moment. The bottles I'm using, 500 mil, they do smaller size. They're going to do a, uh, a smaller sample set uh, for all of their products they do. That's certainly worth picking up. If you do want to go out all out and pick up the full size bottles, a little goes a long way, so they will last you a good long time. And then that's up to you to gauge which one's going to suit you, your need, how much product you're going to go through. Um, so make your own decision on that one. Either way, I've said it in the past, if you want to spend and you want an excuse, blame it on me. I'll always take that one on the chin. Uh, but yeah, these should definitely be worth a consideration. Uh, these are just the finished shots. It will cycle through. I'll leave you to uh, enjoy those. As always, as I do ask you guys, if you'd be so kind as to uh, share, like, comment, subscribe. Always immensely grateful for that. And uh, any comments, leave them below. Anything you want me to review in the future, anything you'd like to see, just give me a shout and I'll look into it for you guys. Take care then. Bye-bye.